What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today I went on ahead and picked up another one of these Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Chaos Boxes that you can get from Walmart, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can get something good from it. I have no idea. I've had some good luck from these, and not so good luck. And honestly, too, with the Chaos Boxes, I feel like they're a better deal. Like, usually we have some better luck with them, and uh, they're better for your money as well. A lot better than the uh, Mystery Power Boxes and stuff, too, because even on those, the graded card is uh, usually not even the best if you're lucky enough to get one. But with this, you get uh, four booster packs, four duelist packs, and then one mystery booster. So you also, I believe, have a good chance of getting a legacy pack as well. And Dark Paladin's on the front. So <laughs> if that wasn't enough, there you go. You even have a chance for, uh, yeah, there it is. You have, uh, I guess, 50% chance of getting a legacy pack. Okay, so let's see what we get. Hopefully some good luck, and uh, kind of hope we get some different packs than what we've been getting these other times. Because I think the two times or whatever I've uh, done openings on this, uh, I've gotten the exact same packs. So, let's see if we have some different luck. Also, I think it was like 20 bucks. Oh, <laughs> I can already tell we got one of the legacy pack things. Okay. That's uh, that's good luck right off the bat. These things are always cool too. They're just, I, I wish they were a bit cheaper at Walmart. I think they're like five or six bucks or something. Those separately. And there's some packs or something else. Uh, no, that's everything out of the box. Throw that away. And what did we get this time? First off, have Dual Spec Kaiba. Two of them, actually. Then it looks like two of Yugi. There's one. And yeah, there's the other. Then also we have Invas Invasion Vengeance. Blah, I can't talk today. Perfect day to make a video. <laughs> there you go. Also, Spirit Warriors. Not bad. Six Samurai hype lately. And then also two uh, Pendulum uh, Evolution. So let's go ahead and open these up, see what I can get from them. I guess Pendulum Evolution. We know we're guaranteed hollows with that, of course. There are some really good ones to get, too, from this set. God, I want the Metal Foes Fusions. Monolith, that's one of the better reprints. Yang Zing. Then we have uh, White Wing Magician, as well as, yeah, Time Star Magician. I can tell it was the Nixie Monster, so there you go. Yeah, you're always guaranteed to get two Ultra Airs, even, from that. It's still a cool set. Something ever happens with Pendulum Magicians where they get a break on the ban list or some new support or something. Uh, it could be a game changer for this set. Have a Pendulum Reborn. Then one of the Metal Foes. Scout this time. Okay. Then we have a Chronograph Sorcerer. And then Astrograph Sorcerer right after that too. Pretty awesome. I mean, it'd be great to get Astrograph Sorcerer back then. <laughs> it's just unfortunately he's been banned and then Iris was hit and all the other stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping one of these days that will change because I want to be able to bring out Zark again. Then also, like I said, Spirit Warriors. Everything's holographic from this set, too, but uh, we know Six Samurais are now getting their Link Monster. So, uh, there's some hype with Six Samurais, so I don't mind getting any of those, I can. Battle Guard Howling. Weather Pain or Rain. Canvas. Grandmaster Six Samurai. Well, there's at least one. And then... Um, okay, cool. We have a secret rare. This one is uh, Magical Musket Dancing Needle. I think this one's an okay one, but yeah, you want to get... Um, is it Kizaru? I think that's the Six Samurai, the one that has, like, the monkey with him. So, I know that's the one that's really tough to get from this set. And, uh, I think the priciest one, really, besides the Magical Musketeers. Invasion Vengeance. You're guaranteed a hollow with this one. Maybe we can get something cool, though. Get Totally Awesome? Did I call it? Let's see. <laughs> that would be cool. Well, one of the Gradles. Then... Uh, oh, it's rare first. Okay, uh, we have a uh, Super Heavy Samurai uh, Soul Soul Peacemaker. I could not read that. And then, um, we got Ultra Rare. Okay, I'll take that. We're at least guaranteed a Super Rare, so we did a little bit better. <laughs> not bad. Uh, it is Christron uh, Citri. That's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if we're ever going to get that one Christron. You know, the, the Link Monster one. What's its name? Konami, can you help me out here? Anyone? <laughs> Seriously. I I've just about given up on that, honestly. Never going to get Needle Fiber or Glass Fiber. Whatever name we're going to get it as. One of these days, man. <laughs> He'll be a prize card. Oh, God, I shouldn't even joke about that. Uh, Duelist Pack. All right, we're not guaranteed hollows of Duelist Packs. And these are some of the better ones. All right, King's Knight, Green Gadget, Karibo, Light Force Sword. And then we have Exchange. Next one, another one for Yugi. I'd love to get Dark Paladin. Let's see. Yellow Gadget, Diffusion Wave Motion, Big Shield Garden Up, 
Then polymerization. All right, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I remember when these used to be really tough to get, they're relatively easy, I think, now, because you can get this artwork version of polymerization uh, from Fusion Forces, which is getting older now, too, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I'm so happy we got the, the I guess, anime artwork, finally, of this card, and it's a good super rare, so I'll take it. Then also Dark Magician. <laughs> Not bad, either. Well, there we go. I'll take that. And now with Kaiba. All right, we can actually get ultimate rares from the Kaiba Duels packs, so... Heart of the Cards helped me out. I think the last time we opened up one of these, we got one. So, let's see. <laughs> that would be cool. I don't know. We might have used up our luck last time, though. Soggy Dark Clown. Uh, let's see. Uh, White Dragon Ritual. Cloning, then. Oh, man, I thought maybe it was going to be Blue Eyes. <laughs> Just because it's a normal monster. Egg's Head Cannon, and then Vorse Raider. I was hoping. I think Blue Eyes is like a super in this one. And last pack for our Duelist packs. Okay, what can we get out of these? Sword Stalker, then Ancient Lamp, Legion, which, huh, well, that goes together then, and Lord of D, unfortunately, and Force Raider at least, too. So, yeah, couldn't get a hollow one of those. I was hoping for, like, a Blue Eyes or, like I said, an Ultimate Rare. But, yeah, we still have the Mystery Packs, so let's see what we get. These can be really good, but then again, it's Legacy Packs, so even though it's the newer versions of them... Still not the easiest to get a hollow from, either. All right, our promo card or whatever. It looks like it's... Oh, yeah, it's one of the movie cards. That's right, one of the gold movie cards. Supposedly, we're getting reprints of all these anyway as uh, Secret Rare soon, so if you're still looking for a Blue Eyes alternative. But this one is Metal Hold the Moving Blockade. And... Is it? Yeah, Spell Ruler. <laughs> I thought so. So that's our Legacy Pack, and let's end with a hollow. Come on, help me out, you guys. Uh, hit that like button. Believe in the heart of the cards, all that stuff, and let's see. That would be cool if we can get something. Final Destiny, that's kind of cool to see. Ceremonial Bell. UFO Turtle, and then, ah, oh, unfortunately not. Labyrinth Wall, though, which is kind of cool to see again. And, yeah, we couldn't end with the Hollow, but, honestly, I feel like I did pretty well. I mean, I got an Ultra out of pack where you weren't guaranteed one, at least, and I got Polymerization, so... I'd say we did okay with this one. Let me know what you guys think, though, about this, and uh, if you want to see more of these open in the future. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out. And also remember, you guys, it's just now, I guess, uh, November, basically, or at least as I'm recording this. So uh, what openings would you guys like to see? Because we're getting close to Black Friday, and I'm sure I'll pick up a few packs for opening videos. So let me know what you have in mind and what you want to see in the future. And I'll try to hunt down whatever it is. Because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of great sales. And, or hopefully. And uh, we'll find some stuff for some new opening videos. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.